Hello all, we're going to be setting up the gas pressure and air pressure on a 6458 Milner dryer. First thing on the manometer is we get our unit to inches of water column. Next thing you want to do is set up the static gas pressure. So we need to first turn off the main gas. Then we need to remove the screw from the port. Now we need to attach our manometer tubing to the port. And we want to make sure that it's securely fastened with a hose clamp because we're dealing with small pressure and we don't want any leaks to get accurate readings. Now we're gonna open up the ball valve and per Milner book specifications which I'll show you how to access later we should be dialed in at 13.5 so currently we're at 14.5 so we're going to open up the cap on the gas regulator and use a screwdriver to turn it counterclockwise to release to reduce the pressure on the spring so that we can dial it to a 13.5 it doesn't take much turning maybe half a turn or one turn just watch the manometer and once you hit 13.5 now you can put the cap back on on the regulator and that's pretty much for setting up the static gas pressure on the dryer Now we're going to remove the tubing, got to make sure the ball valve is closed and then we're going to be putting back the screw on the port. Make sure not to over tighten it because it has a cone, sh cone shaped head. So gently tighten and that should be good enough otherwise you'll snap the head of the screw now to test the gas pressure going into the dryer itself we need to fire up the dryer so at the Milner panel we're going to be turning on the dryer now we're going to be doing the same thing on the downstream side of the gas valve we're going to remove the screw from the port and we're going to hook up the manometer tubing we're going to make sure that it's securely fastened with the hose clamp once we do that we're going to watch the manometer and we should get a reading of about 6.5 anywhere up to 8 should be good you could uh, toggle the manual gas valve into the dryer by opening it and closing it when it's fully open you should read about 4 into the water column and when the gas valve is fully closed you should not read any more than 8 inches of water column. Right now it's kind of hard to see but I'm opening and closing the valve to see if my reading is between 4 and 8. 4 when it's fully open and 8 when the gas valve is fully closed.
this is the low gas pressure it's about four and the high gas pressure is set to about eight we're going to be adjusting those a little bit later but for now we're pretty much set on adjusting the downstream or at least checking to make sure the downstream gas pressure is within range if it's not within range then you need to adjust the gas regulator that you see right next to the gas valve right now we're gonna take a look at the book and check the minimal gas pressure setting as you know the gas pressure coming into the dryer is 13.5 and the low gas pressure setting in the book for a 6458 milliliter dryer should be 3.25 currently it's set about 4 so we're gonna turn the knob down to 3.25 there's a little arrow on the bottom and you just want to line up the number with the arrow on the bottom put the cover back on And the next thing we're going to do is check the high gas pressure. If I recall, it should be at 8.1 inches of water column. But we're going to be double checking in the Milner book for the correct specification. That's the maximum gas pressure main gas pressure and that's at 8.1 taking a look kind of hard to see but the arrow is set to 8 now that we're done with the minimal and maximum gas pressure switches we're gonna move to the combustion air switch that's located in a different location it's close it's right underneath the burner the combustion air pressure switch measures a differential pressure to ensure that we have enough airflow into the burner it's important to make sure that we have airflow into the burner because we don't want gas on its own entering the burner could cause an explosion. We need to have the right air gas mixture and in the book the minimum differential combustion air pressure should be set to 0.6 for a 6458 dryer. Just turn the dial. This one's a little bit easier to see. Turn the dial to 0.6, and that's the white arrow right there. That's pretty much all you need to do to set the combustion air pressure switch. The last most important thing to do is set the main air pressure switch, which is located on the loading side of the dryer right next to the fire eye unit and if I remember the book says it's supposed to be at 1.2 and that's it folks please subscribe below for more videos thank you